So Robin, what sort of um, beehive is this? This is a Kenyan top bar, or top bar beehive. Okay. Um, yeah, so these are the... And you've made this? Bar. Yeah, well Alex did most yep. of it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so it's just all bits of wood we had lying around, which yep. is the beauty of them. They don't actually cost that much to make if you've got the timber. Yeah. And um, yeah, and the idea of it, well I don't, I'm no expert, but is that you gradually expand it rather than disturbing the bees. Okay. So, and this is the first time I've done this. <laughs> so I need to just, because we tried to pull one out the other day and they're stuck down with propolis. Mm -hmm. So I need to just kind of oh, yeah. open it up like that. Oh, look at that. It's dripping. Wow. And then lift it up and see if there are any. See if they're building the honeycomb in the right direction. Yep. So this is to check in effect that it's working. Yeah. That it's that they're doing the right thing. Yep. And if they're not, I am yet to learn what to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Oh, that looks like it's working. Yeah, I don't need to bang them off to see that. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is pretty amazing. So, yep, they're building it down the right direction, I would wow. say. And if you just sort of slowly put it back down, they yep. do move out of the way. Yeah. You can stay. It seems to be lower intervention, this, this yeah. method. Yeah, yeah. So mm. I think you can do a lot of stuff without actually needing to get all suited up. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do is put two more of these in yep. so that they now have more room to uh -huh. build more hives. Yeah. I see. So you start, say, in the middle, or they would start in the middle. Well, they actually start here because the queen comes in a little... Yeah, I'll show you. The queen comes in a little thing like this, okay. if you don't catch your own swarm. Yep. Which, mm -hmm. And then this is sealed, and then and she has two nurse bees in there with her, wow. and they slowly eat their way out. But if they go straight in with a swarm of bees that and she's not their queen they'll kill her right but over time she sits in with them and then when it's time for her to come out she they eat through and by that time they know her smell and yep right wow that's very clever so we put this down because it wasn't completely sealed yep just so that they weren't coming in and out of here this is just some clay yeah so i probably have to reseal this mm -hmm afterwards with some more clay. See there's a bee coming ah, out there. I see, yeah. You don't really want that. And then you add your next layer. Yeah. Wow. Just as your mobile phone goes off. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> see the bee man? Yeah. Mm. It is. Hello. I'm just doing the bees as we speak. So they use this triangle to hang their yeah, off. so this is actually a recent, um, that triangle on it is a, a more recent um, design technique of this mm -hmm. hive, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it means they're more likely to build on a straight line, whereas before you just put the sticks in. And, so okay. we did make it like that, and then Asian was saying that it's better to put, to put that on as well. Okay. So... Yeah, so this is the other end. So they start at this end and build across. So yeah. what I'm going to do now is check if they're building on here, on these two. Yeah. And if they are, then we'll add two more in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you must be pretty thrilled that it all seems to be Yeah, yeah. Working. Oh, look, there's lots of bees there right away, so...
So that's at least halfway, do you reckon, across? Yeah, yeah. The honeycomb covering. Yeah, yes. starting in the middle and then... Look at the big string of them. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's remarkable. They're the plants. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, if you don't know.